Azure API management is a fully managed service provided by Microsoft Azure that allows you to create, publish, secure and analyze APIs in just minutes. But here is the thing, building and publishing APIs is just one part of the equation. How your APIs interact with each other, how they are exposed to the internet and how they handle incoming and outgoing requests are very important when it comes to security. And this is precisely where networking options come into play. Networking is the backbone of any well-architected API strategy. Whether you are a small startup or an enterprise, the way you set up networking can significantly impact the security, performance and reliability of your APIs. So in today's video, we will understand the various networking options available in Azure API management. By end of this video, you will be able to choose the right networking options that best suits your business needs and use case. Hi, this is Shree. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's start now. Let's understand Azure API management in simple terms. Think of Azure API management is like a traffic police at a busy intersection in a city. The traffic police helps vehicle, in our case data, move safely and quickly from one point to another point. The traffic police makes sure that everyone can get where they need to go without running into any issues. The traffic police decides who can go where make sure everyone is following the rules and keeps things moving along smoothly. Just as the traffic police controls traffic, Azure API management directs data traffic and it decides which data goes where. Now, this digital intersection has multiple paths. Think of it as a complex crossroad. Some roads lead to public spots like popular websites, while other lead to private, secure places like companies' confidential data. Azure API management acts like a gatekeeper here. It ensures that only right vehicles or data requests get to enter the private lanes and at the same time it helps other data find the best route to the public areas. Now, let's look at the available networking options and understand more. The first option is deploying Azure API management without any virtual network and API management with virtual network in external mode. Third, API management with virtual network internal mode and finally API management with private link. Let's look at the first option API management without any virtual network. When you deploy API management without any virtual network configuration, both your inbound and outbound traffic are exposed to the public internet. First, let's look at the inbound traffic here. This refers to all the API calls that are coming from your consumer or clients to your API management service. Without any virtual network configuration, these calls are made directly over the internet. This is often the quickest setup and is suited for the APIs that do not require a high level of security. For example, public facing APIs offering information that is not sensitive. Now let's look at the outbound traffic. The outbound traffic refers to the API request that API management sends to the backend service. Just like inbound traffic, the outbound traffic also traverses the open internet when you haven't set up any virtual network. So if your backend service are also publicly accessible, this setup would work just fine. Now let's look at the use case. For apps or services that rely on public APIs which can be managed by API management, and when their backends are also publicly accessible without need for advanced security, deploying Azure API management without VNet integration is way to go. This is particularly useful for scenarios where speed and convenience is more important over security because both inbound and outbound traffic are open to the public internet. While this setup is very quick and convenient, 
it might not be suitable for scenarios that require advanced security measures. Now let's look at how we can control the inbound and outbound traffic with VNet configurations. This is nothing but deploying Azure API management within a virtual network in a mode called external mode. When you deploy Azure API management in a virtual network in external mode, you get a balance between accessibility and security. Your API management service gets a dedicated static IP address from the virtual network, but it is also exposed to the public internet. Now, if you look at the inbound traffic, even though your API management service is a part of VNet, it is still accessible from the public internet. However, because it is within a VNet, you have the added ability to apply the network security groups or firewalls for more granular control over who can access your APIs. Coming to outbound traffic, it can also reach public APIs and services over the internet. However, what makes the external mode different from the previous one is its capability to connect securely with private backend services. When Azure API management is deployed in a VNet in external mode, you gain a lot more flexibility and security options. One significant advantage is the ability to extend this network to on-premises resources. By establishing a VPN or express route connection between the Azure VNet and your on-premises network, you can securely route API calls to internal systems that are not publicly accessible. This is very useful for the businesses that have hybrid cloud strategy or those that need to integrate with legacy systems securely. Another benefit is the ability to connect to the Azure resources privately. When we deploy Azure API management within a VNet, we can make use of Azure private endpoints. With private endpoints, you can securely access other Azure services like Azure Blob Storage, Azure SQL databases, Azure Functions using Microsoft Backbone Network. When we establish a private connection between these two, the traffic between APIM and these services remains within Azure Backbone Network, making it highly secure and also optimized for performance. This makes it a good fit for the hybrid scenarios where some of your backend services are not publicly accessible and reside within a private network. Let's discuss a real-time use case to make this clear. Imagine you are in healthcare domain and you have a public facing API for appointment booking, but you also have to integrate with a highly secure electronic health record system that is not exposed to the internet. In this scenario, we can deploy Azure API management within a VNet in external mode. Your appointment booking API remains accessible to your patients via internet while a secure private communication with electronic health record system can be maintained through virtual network. The next one is Azure API management in internal mode. When we talk about internal mode, we mean that Azure API management instance is fully enclosed within a VNet. This provides the highest level of network isolation and security as both inbound and outbound profits are tightly controlled. I have made another video on how to configure Azure API management internal mode with a step-by-step -step guide. I will leave the link in the description below. I will highly recommend to follow it for a detailed insights. Coming to inbound traffic, when we deploy Azure API management in internal mode, the APIM instance is not accessible from the public internet by default. Instead, it is assigned a private IP address from the VNet where it is deployed. This makes it suitable for internal APIs that should only be accessed by resources within the same virtual network or peered networks. You can also add additional security measures such as network security groups or Azure Firewall to further restrict and monitor incoming traffic. By default, the outbound traffic to the public internet APIs are not possible when Azure API management instance is isolated within a VNet in internal mode. Coming to outbound traffic, by default, 
Outbound calls to public internet APIs are not possible when the APM instance is isolated within the virtual network in internal mode. What does it mean is, APM instance can connect to the backends within the same VNet. If the VNet is connected to on-prem via express route, it can reach to on-prem. If the VNet is peered with another VNet, it can reach to that other peered VNet backends as well. But unlike external mode, by default, it can't reach to the public internet. In summary, while external mode offers flexibility in outbound traffic to cater both public and private backends, the internal mode leans heavily towards a secure private-only communication setup. The choice between them would depend on the nature of your backend services and your security requirements. Now, let's look at a real-time use case. Let's say you are in a financial sector and you have an internal APIs for processing sensitive transactions. These APIs should not be exposed to the public internet for obvious security reasons. Moreover, these APIs needs to communicate securely with an on-premises database that houses sensitive customer data. Deploying APIM instance in a VNet in internal mode would be a perfect fit here. It would keep transaction APIs secure and private within the virtual network while also allowing secure direct access to your on-premises backends through VPN or express route. And finally, Azure API management with private endpoints which is still in preview. The private endpoint feature in Azure allows you to expose your API management service on a private IP within a VNet. This setup is a bit of like internal mode, but with one significant advantage. It enables secure direct access from other private networks, including those outside Azure. In other words, Private Endpoint is still all about extending that secure bubble around your API management service. If you are keen to understand in-depth of Azure API management Private Endpoint, I have made another video. I will leave the link in the description below. You can follow that. Coming to inbound traffic, by default, Azure API management gateway is accessible over the internet when you enable the Private Endpoint for it we need to explicitly disable this access. Coming to outbound traffic, it can reach to all the internet backends, but it cannot be connected to private backends since it is not deployed within a VNet. It facilitates your external consumers to securely access your API management gateway. We can simply create a private endpoint for Azure API management gateway and place it in external consumer virtual network. Yes, private endpoints can be reached from the same virtual network, regionally paid virtual network, and globally paid virtual network, and also cross tenants. To conclude, what suits you best? Well, there isn't any right or wrong answer here. The API architectural decision depends on many factors such as backend systems, whether they are legacy or latest APIs, what sort of data we are dealing with, how important is the security, and organization policies. And more importantly, do we need web application firewall capability? Remember, APIM doesn't come with WAF capability. If you need WAF capability, you may want to consider deploying application gateway in front of it. For example, if I go back to the internal mode, you can expose your internal APIs to the internet by deploying Azure Application Gateway in front of it. And Azure Application Gateway comes with WAF capability. Optionally, you can enable the WAF to make it more secure. And if you're too much concerned about the security, we can also deploy Azure Application Gateway in front of Azure API Management External Mode. So there is no right or wrong answer here. It all depends on our security requirement and what we want to achieve. That is it for this video. I hope you like the content. If you like the content, please like, comment and hit the subscribe button. I will catch you in the next video. Until then, this is Shri signing off. Thank you.